Through watery deeps and fiery waves, we march at your command, led to possess the promised place by your unerring hand. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Wednesday, April the 2nd. It's the fourth week of Lent. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 101, at 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1 through 11. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, source of all being, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I sing of mercy and justice. To you, my God, I sing. Psalm 101. I sing of mercy and justice. To you, my God, I sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. O oh, when will you come to me? I will walk within my house with a sincere heart. I will set no wicked things before my eyes. I hate the work of them that stray from your paths. They shall not be my friends. I will disown the wicked. The false-hearted must stay away from me. I will cut off those who secretly slander their neighbors. I will not tolerate those that have a hearty look and a proud heart. My eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. Those that walk in a perfect way shall be my friends and serve me. And any that work deceit shall not dwell within my house. Any that tell lies shall not stand in my sight. In the morning I will destroy all the wicked of the land, that I may cut off all evildoers from your holy city. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I sing of mercy and justice. To you, my God, I sing. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 12, beginning at verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brothers and sisters, I do not want you to be uninformed. You know that when you were pagans, you were enticed and led astray to idols that could not speak. Therefore, I want you to understand that no one speaking by the Spirit of God ever says, let Jesus be cursed. And no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the one Spirit, to another the working of miracles, and to another prophecy, 
to another the discernment of spirits, and to another various kinds of tongues, and to another the interpretation of tongues. All these are activated by one and the same spirit who allots to each one individually, just as the spirit chooses. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. We thank you, dear God, for bringing us safely to the end of this day and for all the blessings that you have granted us. Deliver us from hardness of heart. Forgive us our sins and offenses that your light may show forth from us. For all who seek you, O tender God, that they may find and be found that your will may be done in all that we undertake, to the benefit of ourselves, our families and friends, the church and the whole world. And rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us, let us uh, commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, tender God, bless us with sincere hearts that we may walk in your perfect way and dwell with you forever. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen.